This lesson is about area of a rhombus. So a rhombus is a special type of parallelogram. You can use the area formula for a parallelogram if you want to, if that's the information that you're given. However, usually for a rhombus, you are given the diagonals instead. So here's a rhombus and I'm given the diagonals here. And what I want you to notice is that if you were to double the triangles out, like so, then you've noticed that what you have here is a rectangle. And if you remember that um, diagonals cross at a perpendicular, so if you were to double those out, you would have four right angles here, which does indeed make a rectangle. Now, how do you find the area of a rectangle? Well, you'll notice that this length here is the same as the diagonal here, and you'll notice that this length here is the same as the diagonal here. So if you were to find the area of the rectangle, you would simply do base times height, which is diagonal one times diagonal two. If you are to find the area of the rhombus, however, then you'll notice that we take our diagonals and we multiply them together just like we did for the rectangle, except for now we need to divide it in half. Since we doubled it out, we need to divide in half our d1 times d2. And that, in fact, is what our formula is. Area of a rhombus is 1 half diagonal 1 times diagonal 2. So now let's move on to a few problems. Okay, so here we have a rhombus with a diagonal of 6x plus 4 and another diagonal of 10x plus 10. So what we're going to use is our uh, area formula for a rhombus. Area is 1 half diagonal 1 times diagonal 2. And now we're going to plug in what we know. So diagonal 1 is 6x plus 4, diagonal 2 is 10x plus 10. So now we need to simplify this program. Up until here, up until now, this has all been geometry. Now we need to do a little bit of algebra to solve for the area. So first I multiplied my, um, or I took my 1 half and I distributed it it into the first set of 6x plus 4, so I got 3x plus 2. Now we need to FOIL um, first outer, inner, last, our two polynomials here so that we can get an answer. So I get 30x squared plus 30x plus 20x plus 20, and now I need to simplify by combining like terms, and my final answer is 30x squared plus 50x plus 20 all in parentheses, inches. Okay, so let's move on to another problem. Okay, so here we're going to find the diameter two of a rhombus when diameter one is three x and area is 12 x y. So we're going to take our area formula, one half times d1 times d2, and we're gonna plug in everything that we know. So we know that the area of the rhombus is 12xy, so we're going to plug that in there. 1 half stays 1 half. d1 is 3x, so we're going to plug that in there. And d2 is what we're trying to find, so I'm going to leave it as d2. So at this point, what we can do is a couple of different things. We can either take 1 half of 3 and then divide that out, or what I'm going to do instead is multiply this whole thing by 2, multiply this whole thing by 2, you'll notice that the 2 and the 1 half cancel, and then you're left 24xy uh, equals 3x times d2, because 12 times 2 is 24. So now what we need to do is just divide out that 3x on both sides, and you'll notice that the 3x and the 3x cancel to a 1, so that goes away. And then all we need to do is simplify this equation right here. And so we get 8y, because 24 divided by 3 is 8, and the x's cancel, right? The x's cancel out right here. And so then we're just left with the y as a variable there, okay? Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching.